Get Rowie! Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think that's some people's favorite part of the episode. Hey guys! Get hey guys! All right, you ready to do this? Yes. Check out that time, guys. 6.06. .06. Early bird gets the worm. Team Canada. Good morning, guys. CJR here. As always, I'm joined by... Jim Riley. And... Cody. And... And Andrew. And Andrew. Today is... Oh... Oh, look at that sun coming up, that's nice. Um, today is the second official garage day, garage sale day of the year. Now, last night on Friday, I hit a Friday garage sale and scored big time. Massive haul, you may have seen it teased on my Instagram if you're not following me already, follow me at CJR. Uh, but I think that's gonna be a separate video because it's it was big enough that it took a while to get through and it would have made this video for this week, I don't know, two hours long or something crazy, so. Um, yeah, so we are headed to Listowel, <clears throat> Ontario, which is 45 minutes away, but it's an area that I've never hit. Taking a bit of a chance that it's in fact going to be a good, um, a good size community sale or town wide sale. You're always running the risk when you drive a fair distance that there just would be maybe low participation, but I'm pretty confident there's also a small little town beside it and then kind of another one on the way home. So if it doesn't work out, we can bounce out of there and we should be fine. Um, any housekeeping stuff? The NBA drops? Um, I don't think we need to address that again. They might be in this video, they might not. We'll see. You'll know right now. Um, I don't know, what else do I need to... Is there anything what else you're looking for. Well, we don't need to do that. We do that every week. I want to tell what I'm right, looking right, for. Tell them what you're looking so, for. I'm look, I, I a go, woman. <laughs> can't go. I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I got rid of my DS. I'm looking for Wii U, Wii, and toys. Okay. I know what I wanted to say real quick. This is going to be my tip of the week, okay? Tip, garage sale tip of the week. If you find out that CJR and Gamer Alley yeah. are going garage selling in a certain place... With all due respect, and like not to toot our own horn too much, but uh, I wouldn't go there. I, I literally wouldn't. If there was somebody in my town who garage sailed as well as we do, and I knew they were going somewhere, even myself, I would avoid that area and go, okay, they're there. So they're leaving this whole area open. I would go there. I get people often that are like, oh, I'm going to be there too. I'm like, are you sure you want to do that? Because like, yeah, I'm not saying, listen, I'm not gonna say that you know we're gonna get everything and you're gonna get nothing and, and I don't of course I don't you know I, I have no problem I'm happy for people who find stuff most people some people I don't like but um, uh, you know but like I just like strategically I wouldn't I would avoid us at all costs <laughs> like it's 6 a.m. and we're yeah. on our way like we're we you know like we take this very seriously and I don't know if I was going up against myself I would I wouldn't bother Okay, yeah, all right, so Andrew wants to tell you what he's looking for. What are you guys looking for? I'm looking for toys and a gift from my friend. Oh, so his friend gave him five bucks, and Andrew's going to try and find something good for him. I'm and we know what Teddy's looking for, right? I'm looking for toys, I mean, dog man bucks. Dog man bucks, okay. Oh, he shot some last week. Yeah, we already have almost all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have all right, so we are on our way to Listowel. We should be there in about 40 minutes, hopefully. Can you hold this? Uh, good luck no, in your finds today. Yeah, thanks. It's a beautiful day for it. Yeah. This is great. I don't know if I even have these ones, Matt. I checked them. They look for you. Cool. Okay, just made a pretty epic pickup at that sale back there. Picked up uh, three. This is pretty crazy. All three Fatal Frame games on the PS2. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got it on camera. So we got Fatal Frame 1, Fatal Frame 2, and Fatal Frame 3. I think they go for like 100 bucks a piece. Um, but I don't have any of them. So these are going in the collection. Super excited about that. On to the next one. Morning.
Keep looking, Matt. <sighs> Morning. Morning. All right, just made a nice PS2 pickup here. Ooh, Ultimate Ninja 3. Some of those are valuable. Um, nice PS2 pickup. PS2 Slim in there. Whole bunch of games. 20 or 30 or so. A couple controllers. Great deal. 20 bucks. Holy crap. I just found the mother load of Kung Fu Flex. Oh my god. I'm buying it. I'm buying this whole thing. $2 each. $29. Okay. Got another Wii sale here. Uh, picked up a Nintendo Wii. A uh, couple controllers. A couple games. We'll go through exactly what's there uh, when we get back to the house. Okay, just made our best pickup of the day, and of course I didn't record it. Got a uh, silver GameCube, has the controller, which Matt probably doesn't have. Oh, ready. right here. He couldn't find it between his legs again. Right here. Uh, silver controller, it has the Game Boy player along with the Game Boy disc. This was left in the box, the guy didn't even think to grab it. Um, and here are the games. You want to show them? Oh, Buffy. I think that's an uncommon game. I don't have that. That's an uncommon game. Mario Kart, Double Dash. Oh, you give me give this to you. Yeah. I got Lord of the Rings. Return of the King. Pikmin. Never heard of it. Yeah, that's a cool game. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Ooh. There's a Harry Potter game that's uncommon. Might be it. Oh, this one I think is good. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. Okay, okay Jackie. Scooby Scooby-Doo games are getting more. I don't think I have that either. Now. So adding a bunch to the collection. This, this, Resident Evil Zero, nice one there. This is a pretty pricey one. Paper Mario, A Thousand Year Door. Mm. Resident Evil. This is the uh, Resident Evil remake. That's cool. Oh, this is. Not oh. sure if I have that. Ooh, that's all a, Resident that's Evils. A pricey one. Resident Evil Two. I do not have that. That's freaking awesome. Uh, this one's pricey. Oh, that's oh, a big hit. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It's a heavy hitter. It's a pricey one. I think it is. Is it a heavy hitter? Yeah, it is. I think. <laughs> I think it's expensive. Okay. I had no idea. Honestly, I didn't even really. I saw a couple games in the pile, but you know, I just do the math in my head. I'm like, I don't know, 100, 120 is fine. Um, and game. then we found one uh, game that was left in the box. box. Scooby Doo. And Scooby Doo 2. Oh Double boy, man, I'm melting here. You take too long. Ted, what'd you get? We got this airplane earlier that I don't think we showed yet, so. And I got nothing. All right. We're still going here, <laughs> melting away. It's super hot, but uh, great little pickup. Not little, but good pickup. Okay. Let me know any of the, anything you'd want. I said it. I said it was gonna. I said it was gonna collect them, didn't I? Yeah. As well, right? Yeah. You never know. These ones yeah. might be uncommon. Yeah. Do you have this? No, I don't. I don't have to. Oh, no, I, I, I don't. I don't have that one. I don't know if that's good. I have $10. You have $10? I have it. Yeah. Would you do five on these ones? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay, made a very minor pickup. Uh, four girly DS games. Now, I mentioned earlier that I'm actually, I guess, going to go for a complete DS and... Wii collection. Um, by that, all I mean is if I see a game and I need it, I'm going to buy it if it's cheap enough. So I think I paid five bucks for all four. I'll show you when we get home. There, there's nothing special, but. Are this, you guys waiting for a frozen lemonade? No. Uh, We're at Tim Hortons. Are you waiting for a frozen lemonade? Um, I guess we could have just said yeah. Hmm. He asked if we're waiting for frozen lemonade. <laughs> yep, that's us. Thank you. <laughs> Teddy loves frozen lemonade. <laughs> Anyways, a bunch of crappy girl DS games, but I was gonna say the thing is, who knows? Like because you know, one of the most are shovelware, but a lot of times some of these are worth something. So we'll go through them when we get home. Okay, 
can't remember if I showed this, but got these two big condoms, I mean inner tubes here. Um, just like tire inner tubes, great for blowing up for the cottage. They're friggin' awesome. Can't remember if I got footage, so I just thought I'd show them again. Okay, yeah, just set it right here. We gotta keep going to the next sale. Okay, big random box of DS stuff. One random PS2 game, couple DS's. Not sure what kind of condition these are in, but we'll head back to the game room and take a look. Two DS in there. Yeah, so pretty good deal on this stuff. Do you have uh, games for that? Not that we found yet. Okay. <laughs> Is one of those guys your husband? Yep, on the way towards Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> Hi, sorry. Uh, you wouldn't by chance have any other older video game stuff, would you? Not really, just, uh, just yeah, what's there? somebody bought the DS already. Oh, you had a DS, okay. Are you one of the guys that messaged me? Or... No, those are cheaters. <laughs> I'm lazy. All right, take care, man. Yeah. Um, we're yeah, we're looking for old Nintendo's, Game Boys, yeah, yeah Sega's. Yeah, yeah, it's hot stuff, man. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, somebody snapped up the DS. Okay. All I got is the old 360. I okay. mean, it works, but it's not the greatest shape. Right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, they're not worth much. Either. I yeah, I've got a couple of them already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks. No problem, man. What? It's a ladder thing. A white blanket. That sounds like a bad idea. Okay, just made a quick pickup. Uh, there's three sales over here. Uh, apparently I'm buying VHS tapes after that Kung Fu flick one. Uh, another Jackie Chan movie, Fearless Hyena. Uh, this is cool. This is the castle of Caglis Cagliostro. Cagliostro. Now this is a Miyazaki film, the guy said. He said it was one of Miyazaki's first. I think before he was with Studio Ghibli maybe. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I do have a VHS player at home, that so. Okay. And Jackie Chan, who am I? So apparently I'm buying VHS tapes. It's killing me, but I never. I said I would never do it. It's so hard to resist. Mm. It's hot, eh? Oh, so hot. Okay, we gotta open the windows and get going. Oh, shit. All right, so we are leaving Listowel. Pretty successful, it is now quarter after 10. We were there for a good three hours. Uh, we hit a ton of sales. I wanna say we hit 60 sales. It was not going well. We were there before almost everybody. There was a couple. I saw one competition floating around, the European man. He saw us, turned right around, but I think he got caught up doing a bunch of sales that we had already hit. Um, it wasn't going well at all for like the first two hours. We found one really good, the Fatal Frame uh, pickups, which is great. But after that, it was slim pickings. We picked up a, a Wii. Um, then we found like the DS and um, 3DS deal started to get a bit better uh, and then of course we found that awesome uh, GameCube deal just as we were leaving town actually it was kind of like a newer section of the area that we were in so that kind of saved the day for us um, so yeah it's now a quarter after 10 and we are taking the long drive back to our city uh, and hopefully we can get to a few more sales on the way home that haven't been uh, hit yet uh, now, I will say that even if they are hit, and we noticed this today, um, you know, I find stuff at garage sales all the time that somebody's already, you know, they'll say like, oh no, we already, we had stuff this morning, we already sold it. So, which of course I ignore and I say, oh yeah, you know, we're looking for, you know, Game Boy, uh, Genesis, uh, Game Teddy, was that you? Yes. No, you yelled, Teddy will own up to any <laughs> fart. <even if> <laughs> Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so even though we hit a sale where, the, where they're like, oh, we already sold the games or somebody was already here, I just find that if I ask again, we can still find stuff even though the stuff was already bought. So uh, my point is we, we still have a chance of finding some stuff today. You got something you want to show there? Let's see what Matt got. I got, I got this Transformer. Yeah, which? It was for a quarter. Okay. It's called Transformer. I told the boys they couldn't buy it. That's why I bought it. So, and, I, and I bought it. I bought a Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's about a line because Stone Cold says, "I thought, I thought this." I drank a beer. <laughs> yeah, I drank a beer. Um, you will see me sometimes. I think last week when I was editing, I noticed there was a video where I shut Teddy down. I'm like, we don't need that. Uh, they'll buy anything and everything. Sometimes they're getting a little bit better. And I did end up letting Teddy buy that uh, Star Wars ship, and it was a good purchase for two bucks. Guess what else I got too? But my point is, there's a lot of stuff that they'll ask for that I know for a fact will end up laying broken in pieces and like three days later, 
they won't care about it. So oftentimes I will tell them, no, you guys can't buy that. Yeah. Now they do have allowance money each week. So they get 10 bucks each week for doing their chores. So um, yeah, 10 bucks goes a long way. Teddy saves his money. He's pretty good. He's got 18 bucks. He's got a couple weeks saved up. So yes, Matt. Oh, you forgot to show, oh, I forgot to show this score. He's, he's just that. Oh, yeah. I got this hat too. Did you got go? a new hat, thank God. Because oh. I was telling him that his other hat needs to be thrown out. And he's like, what's wrong with it? <laughs> needs to go. Mm. Anyways, so we're headed back to town to hopefully hit more sales. All right, that's it. Our day has come to an end. Yeah. Saying bye to Matt. Bye. All right, we'll see you next time. Hey, really. Bye, guys. Okay. See you later. Later, bye. sideburns. Bye. All right, guys, here we are back in the game room after another successful day of garage sailing. Uh, so how did this go? We went out to that sale way out of town, 45 minutes. Um, before eight o'clock, we had probably hit 50 sales. Uh, unfortunately, not a whole lot of stuff. I think by that time we maybe had the PS2 pickup. We picked up these right away early in the morning. First thing we picked up, I believe. Um, so that was a nice find, but for the amount of sales we hit, just nobody had anything. It's just kind of the demographics of that area. There was stuff, and if, if, the, if you were gonna find stuff, it was most likely like PS2 or Wii. Wii and DS, it was mostly Wii and DS to be honest. A couple of people were like, oh, you missed, we had a Wii, or we had some Xbox 360 games. I don't think we missed anything good. I think we got, pro I can almost guarantee we got two of the best pickups out there that day. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'll start with the Fatal Frame games. This was wild. We just walked up to a sale. They didn't have very much stuff. Um, she actually said, sorry, I don't even have that much stuff. Hopefully I caught that on the glasses. I, I never know exactly what I caught on the glasses, so I kind of have to piece together footage from my phone and the glasses, but I know I got some of it. I think I got this one. Um, yeah, just went up three games. That's all they had, just sitting on the table. Fatal Frame, one, two, and three. Three bucks a piece insane i don't think this was in some sort of pack and from what i remember some three pack let me know but I, i'm pretty sure it was not um three very expensive games that i'm adding to my collection i needed all three of them yes it's great to find games that i can you know flip and i use that money for more video games or rc cars i love being able to do that and, and generate some side income to support my hobbies but i get way more excited when i can actually you know Put these on my shelf i, I love it um so yeah adding all three fatal frame, game, frame games to the ps2 collection very happy three bucks a piece didn't even barter just gave her nine bucks uh, i kind of want to get this out of the way so this is a big box i think again i think i got this on camera big box of kung fu flicks i think i showed these three already when i was in the car the jackie chan and the uh, miyazaki film I mean, I don't even, I have a VHS tape. I, these, this is my entire collection. So when I see cool ones like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, I kind of grab them sometimes. I don't know, Weekend at Bernie's. I mostly just have them for the background. But there have been times where I'm like, if I see like obscure horror films, obviously these Kung Fu flicks, I would bet that this is worth a small fortune here. Whether or not I'm going to sell it or keep it, I don't know. I think it'd be a cool thing to collect. Okay, Wu-Tang collection. This is the Iron Maiden. Now, I'm looking for Shaw Brothers films. This is not one of them as far as I know. I just got this crazy um, Shaw Brothers Blu-ray collection. I'm super excited. Shaw Brothers were like the top uh, martial arts movies makers in, from like the 60s right through the 80s, I believe. Uh, so we got Iron Maiden. I'm not going to go through all these. Kung Fu Punch of Death. Fists of Fury. We all know that. Uh, Bruce Lee. Silver Fox Rivals, Wu-Tang Forbidden Treasures. I thought the Wu-Tang was Shaw Brothers. Maybe this is Shaw Brothers, but maybe not distributed by... Could be wrong. If anyone's an expert, please let me know. Uh, Four Invincibles, another Wu-Tang classic. Well, you know what actually got me back into this was uh, watching the Wu-Tang show on Showtime. And the Riz is like obviously hardcore into kung fu flicks and it kind of got me wanting to get back into them a couple jackie chan movies i these are somewhat hard to find um on streaming services so first strike that's a pretty popular one fantasy mission force we got dragon lee versus the five brothers oh boy this is wild rage of the master 
some of this has got to be some pretty obscure stuff. Uh, whoo, we got the Wu Tang Liquid Swords. Oh, we got a Sunny Chiba flick here. Uh, Karate Warrior, Sunny Chiba, another huge star. Um, we got Liquid Sword 2. My God, that's a cool box. I'm guessing that these are quite valuable. And of course, we got Matt calling and interrupting the video. Matt, you're calling and interrupting the video like usual. Go for it. Oh, sorry. No, I forgot if I your mom. Sorry. No. no me, I'll call you back. Bye, bye. Say hi. Hi. Okay, bye. Um, what else? What do we got here? The Eagle Fist. Shanghai Noon. You can tell he was a big Jackie Chan fan. Uh, we got the Young Master, 36 Crazy Fists. We got Enter the Dragon. Blood Match. I haven't heard of that one. Uh, Fists of Fear, Touch of Death. Bruce Lee. Ninja Enforcer. A couple Sunny Chiba flicks. Snake Fist Fighter. Oh, my God. Like... 10-year-old me, like, I was I was specifically into ninja movies. Like, Kung Fu, yeah, when I was a kid, but ninja movies got me. <laughs> I wish I remembered some of the ones I saw. I would bet that these are a lot of them, to be honest. Kung Fu flicks, at least. Anyways, pay 20 bucks. I think the box said that there was 37 of them. He said he's, uh, he's big into martial arts himself, so he used to love the Kung Fu flicks. And it's so fun calling them Kung Fu Flicks. So 20 bucks, I couldn't pass that up. Almost as, as excited about that as I was with my inner tubes, which I hope I mentioned. Okay, a little PS2 bundle. I don't know if I showed this in the video. This was kind of a quick pickup and I was kind of caught off guard, so I don't think I got footage. PS2 Slim, couple controllers, all the cables. So I should check inside here. No disc. Pretty dirty, but I've had good success with those. PS2 games. Italian Racing, Alfa Romero. I believe I have that. Uh, Naruto, Ultimate Ninja 3. I don't think that's the rare one. NHL Snickerfritz, Pirates of the Caribbean, Legend of Jack Sparrow. I believe I have all those. Uh, Guitar Hero World Tour, Madagascar, Let's Ride. Don't believe I have that. It'll go in the collection if I don't. Ghost Recon 2. This is Tomb Raider in a something other case. Um, Kingdom Hearts, Greatest Hits. I think I... I don't. I think I still don't own the uh, non greatest hits version of this. I think I, in fact, own the greatest hits. I've been looking for the non greatest hits. FIFA 07, Ultimate Board Game Collections. Don't sleep on these. Some of these little uh, cl um, compilation games are pretty good. Not. I think I might have that one actually. Bionicle Heroes, good one here. Simpsons Road Rage, Dance Dance Revolution, Supernova, Sonic Heroes. Rapala Pro Fishing, Riding Star, believe I have that. Ooh, this might be an interesting find. Ooh. These games are in rough shape, and I knew that. Um, you know, it was early in the morning, I was a little bit desperate. Um, Amazing Allies edition of Spider-Man Web of Shadows. No manual, it's a common theme. A lot of these games today, no manuals, which sucks. I have a special section for each, I have a special subsection of each section of my game room here where I keep games without manuals. And say I find um, even the games I need out of this collection, I'll go around and see if anything's upgrades, if it's an upgraded case, upgraded disc or whatever, upgraded usually the whole thing. Um, so that's part of my process and it's the reason why it takes me like 10 hours to garage sale. Uh, we get a quick handheld pickup here. Pink DS, uh, DS Lite, trashed. I guess this will go in parts for what I'll never know. Uh, I convinced myself that I was going to do Game Boy macros with these, but it's just not worth it. Although they're coming out with kits. Um, a nice pink, do I have this guy? I do. I think I still need the white one. Pink DSi, this will clean up real nice. Really nice DSi. Chargers here. A couple loose games. Stack pile of loose games. Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. New Super Mario Bros. in there. The Smurfs too. Yeah, mostly Snickle Fritz. Um, and Monster Mayhem. This one looks interesting. Crave Entertainment. Um, what did I say? I think that was 
15. I'm so confused right now. I think that was maybe with the Wii bundle for like 30. I can't remember. It was like 15, 20 bucks max. Okay, we'll go through the Wii bundle. Why do I feel like that's going to be... Eh, it's not great. I should probably buy a resurfacer. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Good one here. 007 Quantum of Solace. I think I'll be adding this to the collection. This one looks okay. Just dirty. Pretty positive I need that. Nice one here. Mario Party 8. EA Sports Active. More workouts. And we got the Wii console. They gave me the... Uh, I don't know if it works. The black Wii I picked up last week did not work. I think that may have been the first Wii... I've ever found that didn't work. It actually sucked in a disc and it did not spit it out. Always test with a crappy game. A <laughs> um, couple Wii remotes in here. Don't see any nunchucks, but all the cables, um, stands, whatnot. Now you see this here. This is missing the battery cover. Um, I always make sure I have extras ordered from AliExpress in white and black. Same thing as this right here. Always have extras. I find tons of Wiis and a lot of times these are missing. So it's good to make sure you have them on uh, backup. I think I said it was 20 bucks for that. Already showed, oh wait, I said I was going to tell you what these were. I'm sure you guys have been sitting on the edge of your seat waiting to hear what these girly Snickle Fritz games are. This is my perfect prom, Charm Girl Club. Imagine fashion designer. This is Miss Mission Runway. Uh, and Style Lab Jewelry Design. Wonderful. So happy to add those to the collection. As I mentioned in another video, what is in there? Um, most likely what will happen with these is I'll just keep them in a big bin tote thing under the steps or something. Okay, we're going to save that for last. Did I mention the crazy score I got yesterday and Friday? That will be in a separate video. Um, it's in a pile over there. It's some epic stuff. Boxed and complete N64, NES, bunch of box games, pretty wild pickup. That will be in a video coming soon. Maybe I'll save that for a, a weekend where I don't have a garage sale video for whatever reason. Okay, another DS pickup. This was kind of crazy. I think I asked what they wanted on this and they were like 15 bucks. I think I paid 15 for this. Um, this is a original DS. It's in good condition. This might be an upgrade for me. I believe I have silver, yes. I think I have most of the colors now. But I'll have to take a look. That's a nice specimen right there. Uh, we've got a white DS light. A little discolored. The hinge is intact. It just needs to be cleaned up. The, the problem sometimes with these is the rubber can get kind of discolored. But this will clean up nicely. I'm sure it'll work. It might even turn on now. Can't remember if I tried it. No. Always a bargaining chip that it doesn't turn on. If it's missing the uh, charger as well, that's kind of a good thing. Because then you go, oh, i got to buy the charger. I just get them on AliExpress. Another handful of loose Snickle Fritz. we got another new Super Mario Bros. here. A bunch of girly games. Phineas and Ferb. I think these ones were the complete ones. Brain Age. Horses. And Disney's The Little Mermaid. Again, I'll be adding a couple of those to the collection, so that's cool. Uh, great, but disappointing. Um, we've got a blue. Okay, feels okay. Um, happy to see that it was in this case. Let's peel this off. This is a blue DS, uh, a 2DS. Volume sometimes breaks on these. It still works. Thumbstick looks good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice blue and black and blue DS or 2DS. And I can't remember if I have this color. I don't know if I'm at the point yet where, I, where I'll be keeping DS, uh, 2DS variants. Um, this I can still flip for a half decent amount. So um, came with a bunch of uh, loose 3DS games. New Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Smash Bros., uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Super Mario 3D Land, and Pokemon Sun. And I think the are the AR cards in here, or is that what they are? Yeah, I think so. In this case, which has cat or dog hair, that lot was twenty bucks. Why I'm getting a lot of these confused. Might have been thirty. It was definitely under thirty bucks. 
Um, pretty good deal there. I was just actually letting a lot of people, uh, like kind of asking what they wanted for it today. And usually it was a good number for me. I think one time maybe I went back and got a little bit, maybe it was that one. Maybe they wanted 40 and I got it to 30. I don't know. Uh, it's a, I'm a mess. Like I running around and trying to manage everything and shoot the video and make deals and load the car and deal with Matt and the kids can be uh, draining. And I didn't sleep well last night. Okay, on to the greatest pickup of the day. Um, this kind of saved the day. This would have been kind of an average day, I guess. Um, you know, it's funny. I, I do feel a little pressure. Um, I don't know if it's like pressure to get you guys a video. I don't think so. I think it's just pressure to find stuff because I know it's this time of year and, and uh, historically I've been getting like trunk loads of video games. So it's, I feel like if I don't do that, um, I, I get a little disappointed. So when I do find a lot like this, it kind of just lets me um, relax. And I'm just like, well, I already found some good stuff. I can just kind of calm down for the rest of the day, maybe slow down a bit. But uh, happy to find this. So I approached the sale, asked if they had games, um, pulled out a big box full of GameCube stuff. What we have here is a silver, I think I showed this already, but just to reiterate, silver GameCube uh, with the Game Boy Player, with the Game Boy Player disc in good condition. Holy crap, I was shocked. The Game Boy Player goes for astronomical prices these days. Matt thinks it goes for like 200 Canadian. So um, I paid 140 for the whole lot, which I was more than happy to do considering the games that were in there. Okay third-party GameStop controller. <coughs> it's broken now. Uh, one random uh, GBA, GBA double Scooby-Doo game. Um, we'll go through these again. Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I think I need that Harry Potter. Scooby-Doo Unmasked. Uh, Mario Kart. Check this out. I thought it was a replacement case, but it's just this piece of paper that EB Games would use. Uh, you could use a case upgrade, but it is the special edition with the bonus disc. I've had this at some point. I want to say maybe that I sold it off. I, I always joke, I also sold off the, <coughs> what was it, Metroid and Zelda combo, because I'm like, oh, I have both the games, and that Metroid and Zelda double disc combo is worth like a million dollars. Never seen it again. Sold it for 20 bucks. Stupid. Uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Chaos Bleeds. I'll be adding that to the collection. And I think that is the, the one that people seem to like. Um, Resident Evil Nemesis 3. Small fortune. Goes for like 120 bucks, I think. Um, blown away. I had no idea they went for that much. That is actually going in the collection. Super happy to add that. As well as uh, Resident Evil 2. Mint copy going to the collection. Again, super expensive game. <coughs> so I am adding five $100 plus games to my collection today, which is wild. Uh, Resident Evil, the remake. Resident Evil Zero, the prequel, I believe. Pikmin and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. So I'd say that's safely the best GameCube lot of my entire life. And uh, yeah, so am I done? That's everything, guys. Pretty epic week. We put in some serious work. I was up at 5.30. I go to bed at, I went to bed at 8.30 last night. Um, so yeah, it's it's a lot of work. It's it's more work in, than it was in previous years to, to get similar amounts of games for sure. Um, so far this year, I will say that it does seem like there is less retro stuff out there. Now I've gone to places that I've mostly have hit before previously so I've kind of cleaned a lot of these places out not just me other people as well um, we're not coming across a whole lot of Nintendo uh, Super Nintendo no Genesis in sight um, feels like that has slowed down a bit and I'm paying more for, for the games not necessarily because it's like oh people know these are worth money um, in the case of the GameCube lot I you know you know I the guy had to value them even at like five, 10 bucks a game, right? So, and there was like 12 games there. So um, I just, I'm not getting stuff for like $20, not stuff like this at least. Wii's I can typically get for 10 to 20 bucks. I usually don't buy them unless I can get them for that. So um, yeah, just some early observations. I'm rambling too much. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next episode.